In today's video, we're opening a 2005 Guilford the Lightning 10. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. And as you guys saw, we have a Guilford the Lightning 10 purchased by Timothy S. He bought this and said, hey, I want you to open this on the channel. And we've had pretty good luck with 2005 uh, 10 promo conditions because they actually have the plastic in there. So this is gonna be pretty fun because inside we have Dark Beginning 1, Dark Revelation 1, Soul of the Duelist, Rise of Destiny, Flaming Eternity. So a different variety of packs than we opened from the other 10. So pretty cool to see that. We're also gonna be opening five Dark Crisis packs, reprints so we can get skill drain, some other cool stuff. But first we have a giveaway. In all honor of the new tins coming out i'm giving away a 10 from 2021 all you have to do is like this video be subscribed turn on notifications let me know what you want to see from this 10 also let me know what you think about the 2022 tins that are coming out this week when you're seeing this also if you guys want some of those tins check out the link down below use my code special ruxin to get i don't know the percentage yet because he hasn't told me but it's better than five percent i think or something it's somehow better but it's gonna be cool uh, also mighty ruxin still works mighty ruxin 10 i think if you still want to do that so let's hop right into this opening let's start off with actually you know what what we did last time was fun we opened up the tin and then we kind of alternated packs i think we're gonna do that so we're gonna open this go for the lightning these packs are mine by the way and these are his so let's see what we can pull let's see if we can get something good for timothy cut this open Guilford the Lightning. That was a very satisfying like pop there. What will this promo be looking like? I have pulled and graded one of these as a 10. So let's see if we can do that for Timothy as well. So that would really help get his value back because that's going to be one of the best ways to get your value back out of a 10 is get a PSA 10 copy of the promo. Ooh, that is nice. Okay, maybe a little dot right there in the middle. That's about it. I mean, it might be a little tiny pin mark i don't know overall this card looks really good how's the centering on the front centering looks slightly off but this is like a nine at worst i think so it might be like a psa 9 could be a psa 10 if it gets a little lucky but it's a very beautiful promo so that's a good start to this opening here are our five packs let's see we have dark beginning we've got the dark revelation solo the duelist the rise of destiny and the flaming eternity so a pretty cool variety there let's start with the dark crisis that's actually a pretty pretty nice promo i'm pretty happy about that you love to see them nice because even in the plastic they can be damaged so it's good to see when they're not one two three four wait you're supposed to do this i think for these yeah i'm like that all right vile pawn archfiend let's see what we can get can we get a skill drain rare and a foil that's the best case scenario ultra for tribute we've got the guardian elma outstanding dog meron we've got the maju garzette pandemonium and well here's the rare maybe yeah guardian trice okay and Ooh, a Dark Master Zork. Super rare. Very, very cool card. Dark Master Zork. You love to see that. So we're on a super rare train already. Good start. Now, what do we want to start with over here? I think we start with maybe Rise of Destiny. We have opened a lot of these. This is the only first edition pack, though. So I don't know. Maybe we shouldn't start with this one. Let's see if we can pull something good like an ultimate rare. Dekoichi is a nice rare. You know, there's a lot of good stuff in here. Let's go. We have one, two, three, four. What will it be? Will it be an ultimate rare? We have a Ballista of Rampart Smashing. We got the Fox Fire. Very nice Fox Fire. Invasion of Flames. Okay, maybe not Flames. Malice Dispersion. Okay. Creeping Doom Manda. Back to square one. All right, we're back to square one, which is, I mean, that's not a square. That's a circle. I'm just saying, just saying. Okay. Mirage Dragon. Very nice. And, okay, is it? Okay, it's two away. Raging Flame Sprite. And we have an ultimate rare. Pikaru Circle of Enchantment, a card that you will pull every time you open Rise of Destiny. It will always be this super rare, but hey, a super is better than nothing. We are not complaining about that. Very nice for Timothy. Okay, solid, solid, solid. Let's go back to Dark Crisis and see what we can pull. First card is the Morale Boost. Despair from the Dark. Now you're a nice card. The Battle Scarred. You love to see that. Arsenal Robber. Dark Scorpion, Manet the Thorn. Battle Footballer in honor of football season. It's back. Yes, I've been enjoying it. Outstanding Dog Marin. And is it next? Is it a rare? Legendary Flame Lord. And we have a... Oh, Kaiser Glider. We are two for two on the Dark Crisis. Ultra rare Kaiser Glider. We will take that. We are three for three on the opening. All three packs of out of foil. This is a very good start. Next up, I guess we go Flaming Eternity. I don't know. There's a lot of good options here. Can we pull something good out of here to continue the streak? The big march of animals. Look at Ojama King right there. As ugly as ever. I'm just checking out. Everybody looks a little ugly in this. I don't know what's going on there. Element Doom. Pretty cool. We've got the Golem Century. Also cool. DD Dynamite, the DDD. It's the early DDD. We've got the Elemental Burst. Arm Samurai Benkai had an OTK back in the day. So this card was, I mean, it was pretty crazy for a while. Insect Knight, he also has Battle Prowess, does he not? Yes. Just like the Sea Serpent Warrior of Darkness. Very nice. Fulfillment of the contract. And what can we pull? Penalty game, our first non-foil. That is a very creepy looking dude. 
Looks like Wing Dragon Raw for some reason. He just kind of does. I don't know why. All right, Dark Crisis. Let's go. Let's see what we can pull. Skill Drain. Let's get. Last time we got two Skill Drains out of five packs when we did this. It was pretty insane. So that was some good stuff. Let's see if we can do that again. I would be down for that. We have a Guardian Elma. We have a Nin Tin Dogs. I love that game. We have a Deal with Dark Ruler. Arsenal Robber. Okay. Battle Footballer in honor of the football season. Shinado's Arc. Will we pull the Shinado now? I would love that. One of my favorite cards. Pandemonium Watch Bear. Guardian Bow. And we have a Shadow Knight Archfiend, our first non foil out of Dark Crisis. That's okay. We were on a hot streak. We needed to cool down. Let's go into Soul of the Duelist. What will be in here? Can we pull an ultimate rare? I mean, Horus level four is a regular rare, so that'd be a cool one. Elemental Dragon. We've got Big Wave, Small Wave. Mass Dragon is always a nice card out of the set to pull. Pretty cool. Neo Aquamador. It was Aquamador was retrained very early, like just two years after it was made. So they already retrained it. I mean, it's so it, it's still a normal type. I don't get it. <laughs> Dark Mimic level one. Mind Crush. Pretty good card, actually. Mind Wipe. OK. Red Eyes B Chick. Very nostalgic for me. I always remember this artwork. I was like, this is a cool card. You know, you can get the red eyes out for free. You know, just put this thing out and get the red eyes. Pretty nice. And then we have a mind on air. Believe it or not, my mind is on air. Not bad. Not bad. Four packs to go. We are a little bit on a cold streak, though. We started off hot three for three and we have not hit anything since. So let's see if we can break that streak of three in a row with nothing. Let's go. We have the Goblin of Greed. Blindly loyal Goblin. You think he's loyal to this Goblin? The Greed Goblin? I don't know. Very cool. We have a Gravity Axe Grarl. Staunch Defender. Ojama Trio. Before some of the Ojamas even came out, this was out, which is very interesting. Checkmate. All right. Dark Scorpion Chick the Yellow. He's out of the... I think this was like limited for some reason. I can't remember why. Legendary Flame Lord, so that's no skill drain. But we have another foil potential. Shadow Knight Archfiend. So the head's been hanging out in the foil slot for some reason. Unfortunately, nothing too good there. Let's go back. Let's do Dark Revelation 1. Let's see what we can pull out of here. DR1. This is the one where if it's at a monster, it's going to be the very front, I think. So the way we need to do this, I think, is we need to do a little pack trick like this. So if it, it might be right here, if it's a monster foil. The way this works is if it's a monster foil, it's at the beginning of the monster section, which will come first. Then they go into the spells, I believe. And if it's a spell foil, it'll be at the beginning of the spell section. And then it goes to traps if it's a trap foil it'll be the beginning of there so very weird way to do a pack i'm glad they did not continue to do this because this would just be annoying i mean like you see your foil like the beginning if it's a monster i don't really like it let's just see where it is amazon is blow pyro nice so you can see this is all monsters in a row a cat of ill omen vampire orcus there's like 13 cards in here i think I, yeah something like that arsenal summoner okay and then, oh, the skill drain. Okay, we didn't get it out of DCR, but we got it out of DR1. So as you see, it's at the beginning of the trap section. So because it's the trap foil or rare, which is just very weird. Ray of Hope, we got a trap of board eraser. And then if it was a magic card or a spell card, it would be right here. So very weird way to do it. See, Mephis, the Infernal General, it got a little ding at the top there. But uh, just a strange way for a pack to work. But we got a skill drain. That is actually pretty good. Skill drain is probably worth 10 to $15. Very solid. With that nice promo, that's definitely going to add on. We also got a foil, so pretty good 10 so far. Dark Crises. Can we match that skill drain with a skill drain of our own? Let's see. What shall we pull? We have Gravity Axe Grarl. We got the Rod of the Mind's Eye. I love to pull the uh, Guardian Grarl. That'd be cool. The Gaga Gigo. Okay. Death Rook Archfiend. Keldo, another nice card. We have a Drag Down to the Grave. Okay. Rod of Silence Chaos. And... Fears from the dark, so no skill drain. And we have a interdimensional matter transporter ultra rare. So we went three for five with foils. That is pretty solid. We will take that. This is a classic card used by Kaiba in the anime, so I can't complain about that one. And finally, dark beginning one to finish it off. Right after Dark Crisis, we have the Dark Beginning. So the Crisis was before the beginning, which is interesting. Final pack, we have tip card number nine. Okay, so I don't know if this works like the Dark Revelation. I think it might. Let's just do this. Suigen, we've got the slot machine. So it's all monsters so far. So it seems like it might have. Labyrinth Wall, Curse of Dragon, Magician of Faith. So maybe it's at the middle for this one. Wait. Light of Intervention, Numinous Healer. I don't know how these work. You know, it did work the same way, but they're at the end of the pack, I guess. There's Darth Maul. Okay, Upstart's a pretty good pull. And then Gross Ghost of Flood Dream. So 
Okay. Weird pack. Weird pack for that one. Shout out to Timothy S for having this open on the channel. Appreciated it for the awesome video you guys got to watch. So make sure to thank him in the comments. And if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content. We're almost to 150,000. At that, we're opening every single pack ever made. Shout out to Choice333, Nightshade Gaming YT, Hayden Jameson, Squirtle, Hoppus, Flexi Boy, Dizzy, Ernesto Deanda, Puffins of Doom, TCG Trusted Cards, JT Cho, Tomato Juice, Daxter, Tone Fo Show, and then as High Show, Christopher Ward, Ian Musa, John Nolan, Junior Barding, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Seth Fisher, Stanley, Thomas McLean, and Tone Z. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.